Hello everyone, welcome to a new game, Zombies on a Plane, done by a different company, Amphibious Gaming. Uh, as you can see, there's basically just four levels is the point, and click adventure. It's completely free, it's only on Google Play. Um, so, uh, check it out for yourself, or um, can't be bothered, grab some popcorn. And uh, So first you turn your lights on, and then you grab the knife. I'm just going to do a very quick walkthrough. Um, you uh, grab the knife and then open the box and grab the fishing uh, rod. Don't you love these point and click adventures? They just make so much sense as their puzzles. So you open up the gate uh, grate and you grab the fishing rod to grab the keys. And then you come out. As I said, this uh, seems to be hand drawn. Uh, it's from Amphibious Gaming, which is. A Russian developer um, and then you oh hello pretty I guess we'll uh, see her a little bit later and um, then once you've got the grab the keys and the raw the rod you uh, come across here and for some reason you put the rod in here and out comes a code because this is always in a plane isn't it now the uh, trick is to take notice of the uh, symbol on each of those and then come back here you'll notice there's one per symbol H, uh, hearts, clubs, diamonds and spades and with that a number so um, it's a pretty long number so the best bet is to probably get the um, just to make sure you got it you can't sort of enlarge it so you're just going to have to read it out as best as you can and try and uh, put it to memory um, once you've done once you think you've got it then you need to start backing up and uh, hopefully you don't forget in the meantime uh, basically you just want to come here and the code is one oh five eight seven seven five and woof bam and now we've got a screwdriver and a card, but for some reason we don't want the money. Why do you take the money? I take the money. Um, okay, so now we uh, unscrew the uh, uh, little screws out and then unlock and go get a fishing rod because someone decided it would be hilarious if I put a fuse in there. The very fuse that is missing here. And so again, you get yours. Um, screwdriver out and uh, unlock the electricity panel and you put the fuse in and that will activate the door panel uh, key coder so once the door panel key coder is activated you grab your card swipe it through and voila and oh there's the lady in the uh, picture that got married see she just that, that's that's the problem with women they just let themselves go after they get they get married I mean didn't care on the honeymoon as well let herself go so quickly <laughs> this is terrible oh look there's a 2014 poster so it must be when it was released that solves that issue so you grab the uh, AK-47 out and you say say hello to uh, Lulu. And that was Lulu. Um, I called the gun Lulu, just in case you thought her name was Lulu. So this is the second uh, second thing, and uh, I I did honestly get stuck on this one. This one I I, I did find a little bit difficult because the game doesn't tell you things, uh, essential things like you can combine items. Um, so you need to grab the cigarette once you grab the pliers uh, come over here come up here pull that down that's got your code that you need for is it this box is a well, usually always two codes per level yep and then grab the knife uh, back out uh, come back up the front here stab the knife and stab the chair and then use the pliers on the chair to get the spring 
Once you've got the spring, you need to come over this side and you need to cut the seatbelt. Um, that's pretty much it, so you can combine out now. Uh, uh, I forgot something else, so I'm going to go back up the front and if you pull this one down, now what you need to do is you need to smear cigarette ash over the and it shows you a secret code because that's where someone would put the secret code in just before he dies and turns into a zombie and uh, coming here this is the secret code is this the KGB plane or something <laughs> then you get the key awesome okay with this key you now go to the other side and you put the key in here we're making fast work and then, oh, that's a pretty fancy bag. It's a woman's, uh, woman's handbag. You tip that down, and there's a secret code and another um, secret code code of buttons. Um, and that can be a bit... Um, so first of all, you're going to put the code in here. Uh, but the other code with the buttons can be a little bit um, elusive it looks like they're all evenly spread apart but they're not so there's that's what I was stuck on you know, got to combine those two items the magnifying glass uh, the magnifying glass the magnet with the seatbelt so um, if you bring this one two down that's essential that one goes two down uh, the second one stays up the top and then the rest just come down and then it's just playing on either side. I can't ever remember. I'm hopeless at writing these things down. Uh, maybe down this way, no. Okay, just go back up. No, I'll go down one further. And voila, we have another gun. Boy, how did these guns get through? Through It has to be a Russian plane. Um, okay, so now we're going to cut through this. And we uh, grab the spring to create a little handle for ourselves and someone's put bullets there this all makes sense, logical sense all this would happen so you pick those up with and then you combine those two and now you're ready to take on the other and again we're going to leave money because we're not interested in money in the apocalypse as we know Very. and then you just say hi hi say hi to pew pew my gun pew pew and that's so there we done we've used Lulu and Pew Pew and now we're gonna use Slice say hello to Slice actually it's more Thwack isn't it? say hello to Thwack <laughs> and I love that animation that's pretty cool okay so you pick up all this stuff uh, airplane is the code uh, that you need to use and uh, with that you need to come down the back here and uh, there's your number code 220391 so those are the two codes to get the computer working that's what you need to do so first what we're going to do is plug it in and once we've got it plugged in uh, we're going to use airplane and we've got to pull this out really slowly uh, I've turned the uh, sound down because it's pretty loud in the game. Uh, the guns and the music is pretty loud too. So it's fitting though, makes it exciting. So 220391 and it gives you another code 5591. So uh, we want to grab, I think is it over here? Yeah, we want to grab that um, Starbucks cup and nothing else oh, I wouldn't mind uh, grabbing a croissant but it's saying no I don't know why and uh, there's plenty of food over here why don't I just stay here I could live quite comfortably I guess I don't know who's flying the plane I guess I've got to go into the pl front of the plane because we're going to crash I think that's what it principally the idea is um, I have no idea there's no in-game story. It's just puzzles. Um, so I have not. And look at the cake. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Um, so again, we I take the screws out and take off the electricity panel. And we go, ooh, I can electrocute myself. 
uh, the fuses are right but the uh, wiring is broken so to fix that we need to come all the way back here and uh, it can be hard to know where to click here it's uh, a little bit a um, little bit uh, fickle in uh, its hitboxes you need to grab the tape from this happy family who's uh, we probably uh, part, part of that happy family just said hello to Thwack <laughs> and the rest of the family um, oh maybe this is part of the family um, so we haven't got anything uh, so we're gonna go to uh, get the matches out to entice him over here because as you can see I can't actually click anything until C he comes up and we go say hello to Ooh, what was that noise? Scrunch? Scrunch. Scrunch sounds good. Let's use Scrunch. I don't know why I'm naming all my... Wouldn't you name all your apocalyptic tools? Like Lucille? So it's Scrunch. Jeez. That air stewardess has fishnet stockings. What's going on there? What sort of plane is this? Okay. Uh, so come back, get Thwack. And uh, let us say hello to Thwack. I seem to love throwing thwack. <laughs> okay, um, and then you'll find that she's been here, put handprints all over the place, like a uh, caveman doing painting, saying I was here as a zombie, uh, 2014. So on her is uh, 4522, that's the other code. Come back. And um, just... Again, open this one up. And what do you think will be in here? What would you ultimately put inside here? You would put the tap handle from the bathroom. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay, so we come in here. We'll put the tap handle back on. Uh, we're now going to fill the cup full of water. Um, so we're going to have to put the cup down first. And we're going to make ourselves a Starbucks coffee. That's the whole premise of the game. I lied to you saying that the premise of the game was to get in front of the cop, into the cockpit, because the pilot is a zombie. And the real premise is just to make yourself a cup of coffee, because it's the apocalypse and you deserve one. So here we go. Mission done. That's it. Well, until next time, guys. No, I'm kidding. So once you've done that, you come back and you go back into the bathroom and apparently this lady, before she turned into a zombie and put handprints all over the walls to say I was here 2014, she decided to put a secret code in that's to the cockpit. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what you would do. So you did that because you knew we were going to need to go in here because the pilot and turn into a zombie um, so anyway hopefully you took notice of that as was that was a long code there's two parts of this so I think you need also the card and that's it we're into the last section Wow look at that this is nice and bright this is Hawaii sort of stuff strangely enough we're not going to crash because we're look in the ocean and we're stationary <laughs> okay so uh oh where do i need to go so uh, hard to find what you need here um i was kind of just clicking all over the place got a russian newspaper that's going to tell you that we're russian oh we need the spoon that's right so we're going to come on to the other side and down here we're going to lift the handle by sticking the spoon the spoon in between and voila we got a knife now we're gonna go see another zombie and we're gonna get him to say hello to our weapon little Lucille and that was it it looked like someone 
Like, sort of like a, I don't know, Nicholas Cage or something. Uh, anyway, you stick the key inside, uh, so that's one part of the problem done. Once you've done that, you got to solve a leapfrog problem. Uh, this is the only way to kind of solve the problem, I think. So you push that one forward first, push this one, or it doesn't matter, you can do the opposite side. Um, but if you don't, you got to do it this way or you kind of get stuck. Um, which one? Green or red? Uh, red, I think. Yep, red. So red, green. Uh, now we're flying through this. And once you've got the two uh, frogs on the opposite side, you get another screwdriver. Oh, what is it? And there's another code, 80, 20, 100, 40, 60. So remember that. Hopefully, hopefully you got that mentally down pat. Uh, can I reset the puzzle? Oh, don't want to reset it. Uh, okay, so we're going to go back and um, I think, oh, where do I want to go? Here. Here is oh, another electricity panel. What is it with these electricity panels? And I guess it was an easy asset once you once you purchased it. That's it. I don't think it was an asset. I don't think it's just so you take the batteries out, you're going to put the batteries in the wireless because the KGB this is a spy radio which has a secret code, remember that code before? so we're going to do this code, uh, you got it uh, oh there it is here, in case you forget 80 20 100 40, 60, and 405621. So, as I said, this is by Amphibious Gaming. Um, I translated a Russian recruitment ad that they put in, and they stated that they were 20 to 100 employee strong. Uh, they only put out Google Play games, and it's only. Um, only pretty much zombie stuff and most of the games are free so I don't know if it's an inflated exaggeration from a single indie Russian developer or if it's a subsidiary of a other sort of like a training boot camp maybe of an, uh, another company a more reputable one I don't know it's something doesn't add up to me uh, there's no in-game credits so I can't tell you but uh, I'll play through the other games and hopefully uh, as the time goes on we'll work out the the puzzle so now you grab the compass uh the other puzzle was just uh big to small that's, that was the code and i think that's it i think we've pretty much got everything we need um so what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in that's the second part you see the ready ready stuff and now we've got to get the code for uh navigation I don't know how we're going to get off since we're in the water unless if we're like a boat that's got um, balances that's able to you know stay afloat or on water uh, um, and I'm looking for a ruler which is over here there you go it says ruler up there so we're going to grab the ruler and we put the ruler on top and for some reason that comes up where how we wrote it down I don't know and then you put that in and that's the end of the game that's it wow no cutscenes so this is amphibious games uh, this is the thing uh, if we go to the games you see they have as I said a lot of oh, everything's Google Play uh, from what I can see all the games are free uh, zombies on a planet was free um, might try some of the other ones later on down the track um, and the story is only on this page so I might actually read the story because I am interested in what's going on <laughs> well there's zombies on the first place 
Why did that woman let herself go on her honeymoon? At 30,000 feet, there's nowhere to run. Unholy terror is unleashed in the skies when a deadly genetically engineered virus is released on board a transatlantic flight to Moscow. In this heart-stopping thrill ride of terror, when a scientist on the run from the CIA manages to smuggle a contaminated body onto a commercial overseas flight, the plane becomes an incubator for a quickly growing army of the undead with a zombie invasion spreading through the cabin. Only you remains to the fight off their fellows. Whatever. Um, that's it. And that's the rest of the stuff. Well, until next time. Bye for now.